there! Today I'm going to bring you a slightly different video. We're going to do a Game of Thrones wig tutorial. So if you are a fan of the show or you just like cosplay or maybe you just like braiding hair, you might be interested in this video. We are going to take this lovely costume wig I got, but it's not just a costume wig, it's more of a cosplay wig. So the inside structure, if you're interested in that, I have another video on a review of this wig from AliExpress and how to cut off the lace front. Today we're going to be doing just styling. So I have put it on a canvas wig block and we are going to get started. Tip number one, these curls, do not brush them. Do not try to disturb them because they're perfect how they are. If your ringlets are too tight when you get it out of the package, you can separate it with your fingers or a really, really wide tooth hair pick rather than a brush. You are going to need some T-pins. These are kind of small, but they're what I have. And I put it on my wig block. If you have um, a person to put this on much better and you can bobby pin it to their hair or a styrofoam wig head works as well. So we're going to very gently put these not where the lace front part is, but kind of up here just to secure the wig to the stand. And it does not take a lot. You just have to kind of remember where you put them. You can get away with not doing this. It's just this keeps your wig from sliding around when you're braiding or pulling on the hair. Next, you're going to need two ponytail holders or a rubber band will work. Do some research on the internet and find pictures of her hair that you want to emulate. And if you look really closely, you'll see she's obviously wearing a wig herself. You're going to want to leave a little bit of the very front hair out to kind of hide your part, and she does that too. So we're just going to pull out about this much hair from the very front. And not braid with that part. Now we're going to make two braids, one here and one here. Well, I guess two pairs of braids that intersect. So just be gentle with these curls and separate them into three more or less equal portions like this. And her braids are kind of loose, so you don't want to pull super tight and you want to pull them back this direction. So if you can see that, it's a kind of thick braid. And when you purchase your wig, make sure you're getting the most volume, like 170, 180% volume, because you need a lot of hair to pull off her look. Now if you want to rubber band or bobby pin or clip this, you can, but we are just going to set it aside and it should stay together. I'm going to show you how much hair there is overall. And now we're going to come to the other side and do the same thing. So I'm going to just rest it there for a second. And make sure this is how you want it. If it's not, you can pull or push a little to make it appear larger. Now we're going to rubber band these together. Now you can use silver or blonde 
colored bobby pins to pin this braid up here. Or when you're braiding, you can take a tiny piece of hair and attach it. In each season of Game of Thrones, her hair changes slightly. So if you like this video, just let me know and I will try to do one of the other braid patterns. I was wearing her blue dress, so I went with the blue dress braid. Now we're going to do another set of braids underneath. Kind of this exact same process. You want to leave a tiny bit of hair out at the front. And then pick up three equal portions of hair. and braid it back just the way you did the other one. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. All right. So now we're going to take the bottom two braids and put them together. And then this will go out on the top. And we're going to use another ponytail holder. When I double check my reference photo, I realized the upper braid is actually underneath the bottom one. And sometimes there's a space and sometimes they're more closer together. But either way that you like it. It's pretty easy. And with a little bit of practice, you might have to do it more than once. And it comes out very nicely. And it makes it really obvious what costume you are trying to go for. So as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.